I intended to... Oh, I don't have my headphones on. Anyways, I intended to play Soldier of Fortune today. I don't know. I tested it the other day. It ran just fine. Um, but when I tried to start it today, it just didn't didn't launch at all. Tried everything I could think of. Just can't get the game to even launch. No error. Nothing. Just sits there in the task manager doing nothing. So, instead, sort of like a last minute thing, I decided to open up DOSBox and we're going to play Alien Legacy. Yeah, I need headphones. Yep. Oh. I'm prepared to bring you on the situation. Yo, what's up, Ace? It's an eyeball. I hope you enjoyed that. After entering the Beta Kaylee system, I scan for radio frequency and energy emissions and find no evidence of current habitation on the planet Gaia. What? But you have two of them. How can you hate them? Codes verified in the m, &M class world. Wake up sequence was initiated and automated construction packages were launched. of a lemon. It's like on the rim of the glass. It's a little bit weird. I'd expect the eyeballs to be floating in the glass. Or maybe in place of like an olive in a fancy martini like on the straw. Or stir, or whatever. So, I'm a little bit upset that we got Dr. Uh, Patel as our scientist instead of Hausman. I prefer to start with uh, the other one. And the, the game's semi-randomized, and so every playthrough is a little bit different. Uh, let's see, Buttspot. Let me see if I can stop Buttspot from being so vocal. Okay, but spot I have lowered its frequency. Enjoy, just for you, Ace. It's not jokes, it's just word replacement. It's not a joke, there's no punchline. The first thing I'm gonna do is lower the speed. Uh, so basically, if you didn't catch that intro, um, we aboard the Calypso, which is like a well word replacement. Interesting. Uh, but we're aboard the Calypso, which is like a big space uh, station, spaceship, 
that was sent to look for habitable places. And we found this system, uh, let's see, how do I rotate it out? This is the star system. There's multiple planets here. And there's like a, a cool mystery going on. This is a fun game. Um, we have a brand new colony here. This is our colony, it has no buildings yet. We should probably build some buildings, in fact, but we need resources. Humans and robots. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit similar to our real world solar system, except instead of using Roman names, uh, it's all Greek gods, so. So all, all the planets are uh, Greek themed. So there's Hermes, uh, Ares, you have Zeus, Cronus, Poseidon, uh, there's a Hera. It's all Greek names. Uh, the moon of Rhea is Prometheus. Yeah, I mean, Titans basically are, basically are gods. They're just older gods. The forefathers of the gods. Ancient butts, indeed. They do probably have ancient butts, so I think that's accurate. Uh, but anyways, the first thing we we'll want to do is build um, habitats on the planet. That way we can send people here. Uh, but we need robots. We need lots of robots here so they can build the first habitat so we can start sending people. And we need both people and robots to build all this other stuff, so. Uh, so it's a weird game, like, on each colony, it plays all, almost like a little bit like a SimCity. Then that's not, like, what the entire game is, either. Transport to New Terra. As many robots as we can. How about that? Oh, wait, I probably should have sent a bunch of other stuff with them. And on the Calypso, let's see, we have one habitat, a power plant, a research lab, and we're going to study. Electronics. I think we also have a factory, but oh, there it is. Um, well, we can't mine siphon from here, so robots. Captain, our transport ship has delivered the robots to new kind of robots. Gaia. Oh, people. I suggest you take a look at the colony and begin construction of a habitat. Our scanners are getting powerful magnetic pulses from Sector E7. I feel that we should investigate this sector in an attempt to trace the origin of these pulses. They may be a form of emergency transmission from some Tantalus survivors. We should investigate any possible signs of the Tantalus or its colonies. I'm concerned that there has been no contact with anyone and that there is no visible trace of them ever being here, sir. Uh, I'm gonna pause real quick. Uh, so basically the Tantalus is another ship another big spaceship that was sent to the same star system. It was actually sent after the Calypso. But because it was a newer ship, it got here before us. So we've all been in like cryo sleep for this whole big trip. We get here thinking that we'll be the first ones here. And we find out, oh no, some other ship beat us here, but we can't find like any traces of the Tantalus crew and survivors and whatever colonies they might have had. So we're very confused. Sir, due to the design uh, of the platform we use, we are only able to have a total of 16 installations active on the platform at one time. I wanted to be sure and clarify that with you to help you in laying out plans for our future colonies. Indeed. So we're going to go explore E7. So 
So right now we're on a ship. Each ship has a, an amount of energy and can carry a certain amount. We'll eventually be able to upgrade our ships, build better ones uh, that can hold more energy, hold more supplies. streaks across the sky, creating a straight line of fire as it burns up while entering the atmosphere. Uh, I don't know how that teaches us any mathematics, I guess because that's a straight line. High magnetic pulses. Okay, so this fancy rock I think that we'll use for an invention. we just sort of fly around the planet exploring. Uh, sometimes we'll be able to pick up stuff that gives us um, minerals or energy or other resources. Right now, especially early on, we're just finding a lot of like cool science stuff. And we use those to uh, research. That's everything in that sector. I guess let's might as well keep exploring while we're down here. Uh, we don't want to run out of energy though, because we will crash and die. I halved its frequency. Why is Buttbot still speaking out that much? Jeez. It's supposed to be one in 30 messages. Okay, so these these are minerals. See, we basically have a full load of minerals now. Uh, so we're going to leave, go back to the Calypso. Now with 30 more minerals. Uh, so we got our robots here. Let's build some habitats. find out what happened to them. You're not far off. Captain, the blue crystal we located on Gaia is most interesting. It can be used to focus our scanning beam and thereby allows us to isolate certain sectors on planets that meet our criteria to be inhabitable. Cool story. Uh, no, we'll just leave it one habitat for now. But we need more habitats here. There. Well, it wouldn't be a proper sci-fi mystery without angry alien creatures, right? Because this is such an old game, it's not meant to run on computers this fast. Even though I have, I have actually the CPU speed really cranked down, but it still is very fast, and so it's hard to like smoothly scroll across it without sometimes like missing things or shooting past where where I want it to scroll to. Uh, well, we have plenty of robots. Let's maybe send some more to the planet. Or maybe we'll just explore more. Oh, actually. What are we researching? We're not researching anything! Okay, so uh, we only have one potential proposal. Uh, we're going to try inventing this dense compound. And uh, these are the resources it requires, listed up here on the top. And this is the amount that we currently have of each of those down on the bottom. So it needs two physics, we have two. We have six physics. It needs three geology, we have five geology, and so on. So we can we can start inventing this right now. And that'll take a while. Probe. Um, 
pretty much nowhere, so no point in that. Let's just explore this place because we already know there are still minerals here. Not many, but we got them. Captain, our first habitat is now complete on Gaia. We can begin shuttling some of our personnel to the surface to start building up our colony. We should make this first colony as self-sufficient as possible. May I suggest we add at least a factory and a power plant to our initial colony before we spread ourselves yeah, too will. thinly across the surface? We need humans there first, though. Disgusting humans. Um, I don't know, probably, but not, um, like there aren't literal xenomorphs in it, like not the exact creatures from the Alien movies. I will say the Alien Legacy boxed set of those movies was not released, um, which makes a pain searching for this game sometimes on Google because you just get a bunch of Alien movie stuff instead of this game. Are disgusting. I'm glad we can agree on that. Yeah, there's Alien Legacy, that's what the game is. Did I not set the stream description? Maybe I did. Oh, heavy obsidian that floats in water. This is unrelated to the Alien movie franchise. But it did come out in, I think, 1994? And I'm pretty sure that means that at least the first Alien movie was already out by then. Probably the second even. I don't know exactly when the movies came out. Yeah, thankfully no face huggers. I mean, not like they would be able to do anything to us in our ship anyways. Sort of moss species. They're naturally phosphorescent. Okay, we have full load of energy. Land here. And we're going to basically have this. Oh, I did this wrong. We're going to send this ship, tell it to bring us back a whole bunch of loot from the Calypso. And now we'll have it take four trips. Okay, so even, even the third then was already out when this game came out. Uh, so yeah, this ship, we're going to have it go on four round trips bringing us a bunch of materials from the Calypso so we can start building more buildings. And here we will send some people transport to New Terra. Let's send them 40, 40 dudes. How many people can one of our habitats hold? I don't even know, 100. What else? Oh. <laughs> yes, the butt came out in 1979. 
That's very correct. And so once we get our humans here, then we can start building factories and power plants. In the meantime, while we wait, let's explore. Hopefully we can find some traces of the Tantalus colonies. Eventually we'll be able to build like a cool scanner that will let us scan for interesting things. That way we aren't just randomly picking hexes to explore. Yeah, that's fine. Take take your time. There's no rush. There's a not a very like fast-paced game. It's a chill, just you know, relaxing game. At least for now. Until bad stuff starts happening. What are you streaming? What sort of fun stuff am I going to have to miss out on? You don't- what? What do you mean you don't remember? Dodecahedrons. We found some 12 sided dice. Boulders that are 12 sided dice. The D12 formation. Well, that's a shame. They should have actually had it at cell D12. So we also have like a top-down view here, and we have like a scanny pulse that uses up our energy. And we can drop bombs and shoot lasers. Lasers are very important. And there's our cargo hold. What? Tell me! Spill the beans. Lot of energy here. No humans still though. Oh, you haven't even played it yet. Oh, we found uh, robots in like a, a ruined building. You find a museum dedicated to the history of the UNS Tantalus last few panels of a diorama show the starship being dismantled and the fusion engine being transported to Gaia's surface. And precious robots. So they're here, and I guess they dismantled their ship to build the colonies that they had. Say what game it is. I'm curious. Captain, as we make habitats aboard the Calypso, we'll program the cryo chamber to awaken 50 colonists at regular intervals. Space permitting, of course. Of course. Nice. Something, some 
fresh, some stinky and chewy. catch up on the VOD to see what the heck you're playing, I guess. I'm very curious. Exotic shrubbery seems to feed off the local life forms. These carnivorous plants continually rid the soil of would-be parasites. Disgusting parasites. Like humans. Your instruments detect flashes of heat lighting. Heat lighting? Reflections of lightning storms over the horizon. Spider trees with web-like structures hanging from their branches. Insects are captured in the webs, which then suck out their nutrients. More carnivorous trees. That sounds cool. Something fresh. There's a video that we received from the, the Tantalus. Launched 17 years after us, we got here way before us. Uh, so 
guy is a lot like Earth, just a little bit cooler, pretty much. Yeah, there are eight plants and two asteroid belts. I think that the reason that both the Calypso and the Tantalus were sent out um, is because now uh, the Centaurians were at war with humanity and we're going to lose. So they just sent out a bunch of sea ships to try and colonize other worlds. That way humanity would survive. It's been well over a decade since I played this, so I don't, I don't remember everything. I remember a little bit though. Like I remember the names of some of the texts. Like there's the the Tip Tow Blood Filter. No, they're 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 missing. We can't compete with them until we find out what happens to them. Because obviously there are no other colonies still still active. Gaia. Just like ruined structures like the one that we just found. We'll be competing with other things though. Humanity is not the only uh, species in the system. Okay, we have our humans. And actually, we should try and get a regular supply of humans. trips. Give us 60 humans, please. Yes, there are, uh, I guess, multiple alien species. But luckily, we haven't met them yet. Factory power plants. That'll complete one of our little mini quests. Do I feel old? Um... No. I always feel old. Invention complete. Yeah, it's been at least a decade since I played this, and it's probably another decade since I played it previously, so. Maybe not quite that long, but. Yeah, because I did play this as like a child, a youth. Oh, we, we built this thing. So it's too fragile for us to use for anything right now, the super dense micro ceramic. But one day, maybe it will be useful. We have nothing else we can invent yet, though. Let's just, um, actually, let's go back to the Calypso and see how they're doing with building things. So I think we're always going to be running at an ore deficit here, but at least we can build some power plants. And maybe we won't be running with negative energy. Yeah, I'd like to get all of these positive except for ore. Uh, there's nothing to mine out in space, so... We'll have to do all of our mining for now on planet and then ship ore back. Actually... Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and set this to mine. So it's going to mine up ore. Okay. So we cleared that. Did we clear this one? I feel like we didn't. Yeah. The water at the 
bottom of this crater contains a honeycomb of traces of sulfuric acid. Delightful. Wonder how it tastes. Right now, especially since we have really crappy scanners, a lot of these sectors are not going to be able to find much in. Oh. But as the game progresses, some of these sectors that we've seen sector cleared will end up to not be cleared. your idea. Wow, we already have more people. Nice. Oh, you should. That sounds fun. old enough you don't have to worry about too many other people streaming at the same time. We're going to do it as slender though. Where we get the ecoscope from? Oh. Sir, one of our personnel on Gaia has transmitted a report about the planet's surface. It's in the ship's library if you wish to examine it. Indeed, I will when I'm... Oh, I can right now. Okay, yeah. Why didn't I see this video in here earlier? We should have had this, I would have thought.
So I guess War of Earth was attacking the Centaurians and started it, maybe? on Gaia are quite advanced and can be compared to that of the Oligocene epoch of the Cenozoic, Cenozoic era of Terra. The dominant land animals look reptilian, but they have mammalian characteristics. Because the land area is so limited, competition among species is particularly fierce, and many species are quite large. Fortunately, the largest are herbivores and are not very aggressive. No intelligent species have been detected. Indeed, most species have rather small brains, similar in size to Terran dinosaurs. All species have an unusual brain lobe, which is unlike any feature found in Terran species. The use for this lobe has not yet been determined. They have the lobes for business. How did our experts sell? I think we might have. This is the game that taught me what a Mercator projection was. Way before school of it. How does that actually give us any mathematics science? Like, it's just finding a geometric shape. Presumably we already know what truncated cones are. Discover by wandering around outdoors. Uh, if, if you take a cone and you lop off the end of it, you've truncated it. Same way if you uh, take the word cones and you chop off the ES, you have truncated cones to just three letters cutting off the end of it. Yeah, but going outside and seeing a broken stalagmite would not be the first time that humanity has ever thought about a truncated cone. had two birds and two new babbies. Okay, we have a... Uh, so 2045 is when the Earth offensive fleet was wiped out. Last contact was five years later. Ma 
massive attacks, Centaurians breaking through, Pluto 4 defense screen, new tactics 90 degrees above and below the ecliptic, heavy casualties, last transmitter, good luck. Great. So Earth, likely destroyed. I mean, the planet probably wasn't destroyed itself. Just the inhabitants. Blobs. Four large bird-like creatures flutter across the ground. They all have golden down on their bellies and tall tufts of white feathers on their heads. Interesting. I'm sure that'll help us with some completely unrelated biology research later on. A large bipedal carnivore about the size and build of a Terran gorilla chases small or chases several herbivores that look like primitive elephants. Imagine that gorillas chasing tiny elephants. Ludicrous. Clusters of scarlet flora abound in this area. Each floret is actually a hive containing thousands of tiny mites. It's nightmare fuel right there. Self-sufficient here. Uh, so the habitats are generating life support. Yeah, later Ace. So yeah, the habitats are generating life support and humans. And I guess that we need a robot factory somewhere. And a vehicle factory somewhere. Because as vehicles are destroyed, we'll need more. And as we send them out to be space stations or be probes, we'll just run out of vehicles eventually. Okay, we have robot protect production on Calypso. Still waiting on these power plants though to be finished. We might even need another power plant after that. Eight energy, we have eight surplus energy. I th think we might be energy neutral once this factory comes online. We'll need another power plant. Build like you know, warehouses to stockpile all this ore and stuff. One turn left on that factory. I should actually check, um, and I should check and see if we can build that ecoscope yet. Or invent it.
That's a lot of chemistry. The local grasses release considerable amounts of methane. Fart grass. Vegetation in this area contains natural concentrations of cyanide. So we found fart grass and poison grass. Lovely. Add that to like the spider trees, and this is just a lovely place to live. Glad we settled here. like a, a child. I don't know how old I was, I guess. I was maybe middle school? I don't know. I have like a big list I'd keep of all of the cells that found things in previous playthroughs that were interesting. And I think there were also some like text walkthroughs on the web back then. Um, and so I'd know like all the hotspots to beeline to. Magnetic crystal from Gaia will help us make an ecoscope, a device which allows us to scan a planet's surface from orbit. With it, we can locate sectors suitable for colonization. We will have to invest some of our scientific resources into making this ecoscope. The necessary amounts are listed in the tech manager. We should have enough, I would think. Captain, I've requested some of our personnel on Gaia establish a target range near our first colony. F zero. This way, our pilots can get some practice for bomb runs and laser targeting in the unlikely event we should ever need it. Sure, let's go to F-Zero. Whammo! This is the combat tutorial. Great. Success! Okay, and we are still energy positive. Oh, this only used three energy. Why did... Okay, so to create it needs eight. But only uses three as maintenance. So nice. This looks great. And it looks like one factory mining produces more ore than the power plants do. So maybe if I have enough power plants, I can have a factory that is doing something besides mining and still say positive ore. Go for another little set of three. Don't need more robots at some point. Let's uh, invent this. It's not even very expensive. left on those power plants. Jeez. Uh, is there much we can even do here? Now we'll see what the energy ends up being once those are constructed. Still waiting for another shipment of humans, right? Oh, were there not enough? And that's why? There are plenty now, though. Send one trip with just 30, 30 humans. I should have sent uh, some robots, too. You know what I will. Pipeline. That way it comes back to the clip, so hopefully. Uh, give some that ore. Okay. But once we have things more finalized, more stabilized here, we can send a pipeline, for instance, bringing 
9 ore from the planet to the Calypso. And hopefully try and eat away at that negative deficit. Okay, awesome. So we still need a vehicle production plant somewhere. Maybe that'll be the extra factory that we build on Nutera. I don't know. stay self-sufficient. As self-sufficient as possible, at least. Once we have that ecoscope, though, we will... We'll be able to find another colony though, or do you just name just a random shape Theseus? I guess constellations are mostly just random shapes, but like they never actually look like what they're supposed to look like. Dead volcanoes tower above the plain. The mouth of a now dormant volcano is slowly being worn to sand by the elements. top third off a group of stalagmites, turning them into truncated cones. Yep. Wowie, truncated cones. Such a great find. What am I missing? Oh. Pure white sands are composed of chalk that is eroded from the hills. stain your feet white when you walk on those sands. You determined this area receives the least rainfall on Gaia. I'm not sure how we determined that just from our small amount of exploration. one. 
this. Okay, so we do have 30 people already en route. Accidentally cancel them or something? Okay, that's weird. Send 30 people. Yeah, I don't understand what we did. Invention complete. Oh. We have an eco scope. Reveals habitable sectors on planets. Another colony. Is that this? Okay. Let's explore it first. Once we build a colony here, we won't be able to. Uh... Alright, fair enough. No, we can't just name it Gaia 2. What should I name this colony? It's not like Kerbal Space Program or anything complex like that, but we will want to send stuff when we're on a closer approach to Rhea. Um, that's a horrible noise. We didn't save. 
Captain, we experienced a systems failure during our journey here. It will be necessary for me to repair the system. What is this safe game? Navigator Wii. Oh, no. I think we have to start over. Um, I just want to start a new game. Oh. No checkpoints does hurt. So spoiled now. Why didn't we save anything? Damn it. Greetings, Captain. Oh, and we still get Patel? Stop, stop, stop. <sighs> Invent. We need robots there. Transport. Bunches of robots. Uh, sure. That's also pipeline. Ready to build up. I'm gonna sit around here and wait. Yeah, five robots. You got it. Can't believe we lost all that progress. Hey, so you missed DOSBox crashing on me. I didn't expect to be crashing in this. And also, we hadn't saved anything, so... lost all of my progress. We had a second colony. I named it Aces Alley, but it's been wiped out. So, it's great. I'm waiting for my first robots to get back here. Yeah, you had an alley. We're just starting to build it up. Habitat corner. I'll just go ahead and whack down some habitats, just two. You should, you should. Who in an alleyway doesn't? What would you sell if you were like one of those shady alleyway salesmen? What sort of wares? I need something like that. Just 
like a reminder box. I guess maybe I could tell Alexa to remind me. you later. It's not hard though. Um, I mean, Buttspot is trivial. You just go invite Buttspot to your channel. Uh, but if you want to do like a custom bot, that's actually pretty easy as well. I'm assuming you don't actually want Buttspot. Yeah. If you are using Streamlabs, they have like that functionality built in as well. I'm not though. Oh, I meant to leave in our ship. Captain, the blue crystal we located on Gaia is most interesting. Okay, here's that ruined building. Got our robots again. It's like it's pretty convenient that's right next to our colony. What do you want a bot that does? Also, uh, you can configure Buttspot to do other things. Like, it can replace some um, things with stuff besides Butt. So you can have it be like a walrus bot instead. But, uh, but Buttspot will always be like just a word replacement bot, so. Here. Okay, 
Okay, everything's in like different positions now. fourth later. Can I send humans here when these aren't done building yet? Probably not. Just two turns though. Oh, I can also send that. Now, there are no humans at this colony, so I don't think I can launch with a human pilot, but can select to bring a human pilot instead of a robot pilot. Now you can also just bring some robots with you or whatever. close to um to Ray right now. Yeah, this is probably our closest uh, approach in orbit, so I think I'll go ahead and send a probe there. Let's probe Rhea. Uh, only 600 fuel, sure. Could send a probe to Prometheus as well, but I don't think we need to just yet. I'll do another strip. Okay, these are 
birds. So over here should be the gorilla. Yeah, the gorilla chasing tiny elephants. sending humans again. right around the colony, which would be the first ones I'd check before now uh, strip searching the planet. filling up this even though it's still under construction. Interesting. So we have habitats. Let's send humans. Send a bunch of humans. start actually building up the colony again.
down to poison grass, which means this is fire grass. Delicious. Captain, our first habitat is now complete on Gaia. We can begin shuttling some of our personal. Already doing it. To start building up our Start flying around to see if it's a cleared sector or not. I don't waste any energy. Oh. Inside the fault are tiny holes, which are the mouths of giant worms. Occasionally a tongue flickers out and licks off some algae from the stony surface. Love me some worms. At the water's edge can be seen tiny crab-like creatures with oversized shells and nearly invisible eyes. They feed on a carcass. The gentle waves have washed ashore. Two enormous peaks reach above the polar ground. They're actually the ice-covered canopies of trees that draw their nutrients from the permafrost. Okay, lots of cool biology on this little island. Aha! Okay, and some staticky amber, like always. Strips are both done. Still need our humans. We still have two turns on the habitats. We're doing with the tech. Two turns left to invent the super dense micro ceramic. Four turns. Jeez. With our first habitat now in place, we should supplement the colony with a factory or a power plant. Invention Invent complete. Invention complete. After further examination, it would indeed appear likely that we could construct a filter, an ecoscope. Make a proposal will. then, so I can research it. I want to build up a second colony again. There are numerous life forms on the planet, but none of them seems hostile towards us. Vehicles are a vital part of our infrastructure. We should continue to produce them at regular intervals. You may want to test the new bomb site we installed on our spacecraft. If you make a bomb run, clear the sector of all ore and energy first, or you'll destroy them. I'll destroy you. Sir, we could use our spacecraft to skim the surface of Gaia to search for clues about the Tantalus's fate. Already on it. Oh, wait, 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 we have humans here. The humans have arrived. Gross. Don't need power plants. Just the one. And factories. Okay. We could plot down another factory already. 
we'll wait for more humans. This looks empty. Tantalus building, maybe. A billboard above some ruins proudly, pro pro proudly proclaims, Welcome to Edison City. Nothing can stop us now. I think something clearly stopped them. found a second colony without the ecoscope. I just need to know where to put it. Tabs online. Looks like they were waking up people from cryo sleep. Four turns left before we have power. Sort it out. That's fine. Our scanners are probing the The telemetry will be downloaded into our ship's library. about one-third larger than Terra and has a 1.35 times the surface gravity. The surface is 25% water with several large land masses. The planet has a 16-hour day, and thus the weather is particularly violent. The atmosphere is oxygen and nitrogen, but the oxygen level is about 30% lower than on Terra. The oxygen and traces of methane in the atmosphere reveal the presence of life on the planet. 
prevents a large moon is probably responsible for preventing a runaway greenhouse effect, as happened on Venus, because it stripped away the lighter gases before the surface temperature climbed too high to be deadly to life. The appearance of life also stabilized the atmosphere by removing much of the, much of the carbon dioxide and creating a protective ozone layer. Spectroscopic analysis reveals the presence of iron and iron compounds in the planet. The strong magnetic field and high density indicate a large liquid interior. Distance from star... Okay, I'm, I'm not reading that. Blah, blah, blah. No, we need to save. Don't we? turns for power plant, eight turns for factory, jeez. Three turns for power on Calypso. And then we could actually go take that probe now around Rhea, we just have a ship floating around it, and do something else with it. And we could send it to Pro Prometheus probably. We already explored through four in the previous save. pipeline going. 1400 fuel still at this orbiting Rhea. Uh, we could make it a space station around Rhea. Or Prometheus. Or we could probe Prometheus first. station right away. We don't have any people there though. No, we'll leave it we'll leave it in orbit for the time being. Here's the 
highest average temperature on here. Yeah. Yeah, how close to the equator is this? Interesting. I wonder if, hmm, I wonder if then we can make some assumptions about the tilt of the planet. Maybe assume this is a more, yeah, I don't know. That's average temperature, not just current. Various flora surround a hidden water system. This area appears to be an oasis. What appear to be inverted spider webs turn out to be flowers. The strands are greenish blue in color and they secrete a sticky liquid to attract insects. Instruments record a disturbance in the Van Allen radiation belt above this area. Are those always called Van Allen belts, or is it just Earth's the Van Allen belt? Like on other planets, do they have other names for their magnetic belt radiation areas? I don't know. Same phosphorescent moss we've already found. Still waiting for our people shipment to come in, jeez. We can actually send even more people down now.
right now is just basically the Twitch pop out. That's what I'm exploring. Is that it? Okay, just sometimes chill out and go talk to people on the bridge. Oh. A massive earthquake recently shook the island, causing it to sink. from one sec. Like just there are radioactive elements here. Yep. They're on Earth too. We we already are well aware of them. Like there's nothing novel about that. Um Like I realize those little text boxes are not large enough to have a lot of text, but still. Oh, jeez, that was a whole cargo bay of energy right there. Let's go chill on the bridge for a bit. Yo, what up, uh, Patel? This planet's composition suggests that mineral-rich deposits should be present. Our current ships have scanners powerful enough to locate some preliminary sources of ore from the Mercator map. I wonder if our researchers could create something which will help us detect any remaining survivors from the Tantalus, or at least locate some of their bases. I wonder. System efficiency at 93%. I am applying new shielding to aid in protecting the core from any further radiation damage. Because it takes so long to build the positronic brain for a robot, sir, I would suggest devoting at least one factory either here on the Calypso or at a colony on planet side to building robots. Our Pilots make for better pilots in most cases. They can react faster, travel at higher speeds, and have more tolerance to radiation than our human pilots. I love human pilots. Okay. Do we have more people here? We do! Let's see. So if we make this vehicles, how much of a deficit will we have when everything's done building? Let's see. Back to the clips, all right. Sure, take some 
take a little bit of ore and a little bit of energy. Ten turns. I don't understand why is this taking so long to go from new Terra to Calypso? How did this ship get all the way out here? sooner rather than later. I can upgrade these habitats. And then upgrading them will make them take more resources though. That magnetic crystal from Gaia will help us make an eco Got it. Captain, I've requested F Zero target range. Gaia. I remember doing that. really need to upgrade them just yet. Let's explore. F zero. Bam. Actually does this work? I wonder 
how I did that. That'd be a neat exploit for like early colonization of those outer planets. The winds have curved the basalt cores of ancient volcanoes into naturally shaped obelisks. Obelisks of the Tormentor. Reptiles is caught up in a feeding frenzy. The reptiles look like hairless bats. I look like a hairless bat. Magnetic rocks. Whoa. will get there in seven turns. I think it uses only 100 fuel per turn, so maybe it will? I don't know. It's even further out now. I'm very dubious of it ever reaching the club, so... That's bizarre. Can I anchor on it? Eventually Hades might swing out there. It's gonna take a long time though. That's hilarious. pipeline will work. Turn our fuel, two turns. Yeah, let's do it. I really need those people, so... streaming now. with a crystalline substance that smells like camphor. I don't know what that smells like. Local insects exhumed a substance similar to... I don't even know what that is. Chickle. 
Jade is embedded in a matrix of large quartz crystals. So this looks like it's still in good standing. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder what happens when this just reaches the very edge of the solar system. Is that what crashes the game? it all the way out here. It's going from the purple dot onto the planet. Okay, before it gets too far away, go back to the clip so please. What the hell is wrong? Okay, so that weird pipeline ship just did just magically appear at New Terra.
Captain, it's good to be stretching our colonies out across. Oh my goodness. Our first task at any new colony. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm well aware. Please be some energy here. to our other colony. Transport's taking six turns, and that's supposed to take just two. There's something very wrong. Oh, we have, um, we have ships. When did this happen? Looks like we just built one. Robots. And this. Okay, we need one more factory at the very least. Mining. Sun ships on even transport missions right now. Wow, do we already have another ship at New Tara? How quickly does it produce ships? Twenty-four turns. Asteroid? Or to 
berries. Uh, sure, go pro berries. same sort of layout there. I may we'll do robots instead of vehicles. Let's go exploring. Can we clear this sector? Luckily, we have um, more than that. The ice crystals here contain high concentrations of isotope deuterium. second colony where I on the continent did we just find Theseus again are we on a different hemisphere of this planet a large flightless bird battles a serpent over a tasty nest of eggs are tasty. With the scarcity of food in this polar region, it's not surprising to see two herds of seal-like herbivores battle over limited greenery. Yeah, I, the other thesis one, it was over beer or something, right? Have we just named two completely different constellations, Theseus?
so it's no ships because they're both being transported there. Sure. We can create a colony on Rhea or Ares now. one of these habitats on the clip, so maybe? Yeah, what does it upgraded? Just upgrade one and see how it is. So we can do this again. of humans I sent from the clips of this colony. I should have sent more life support. Okay, how's Ace's Alley going? The one turn left constructing. And then we can start getting some some humans here. Operational. Once our ships are back here at the club, so we will send a boatload of humans and some more life support. because they're currently building the mine thing. That's fine. Once this is done, then we'll have those resources back, at least the ones that aren't needed for maintenance. That should be enough, I think, to build the power plant. I should build the power plant first, though. Another shipment. Yeah. 
Okay, now we should be good. Why is this waiting? Not enough for maintenance. There's plenty. Quit your bitching. Let's go explore. Did we clear this? Location of a nuclear waste dump which has been permanently sealed under tons of concrete. Um, but yeah, it's going to make it really hard later on because we're going to really, really need to heavily rely on pipelines later on um, to make sure we get ore to space stations and places where they can't make ore and hopefully get power from our gas giants to less power rich places. Take a look at our colonies real quick. Okay, we are operating self-sufficiently, although hmm. I'm gonna create another habitat. so we can get some more life support. And yeah, this is looking good. We're even creating more vehicles at a slow rate. Oh, that's only change. Oh, we finished building this. Okay, so we can't upgrade another without impacting our energy into the negative. That's two more ore. Our scanners are probing areas. Oh, sweet. The telemetry data will be downloaded. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Aries is about one-fifth larger than Mars, but because of its iron poor core, it has a gravity only one-eighth greater. The magnetic field is barely detectable. There's more carbon dioxide here than on Mars, and there are traces of oxygen, indicating the presence of some life. The low amount of methane suggests that any life would be primitive. No free-flowing liquid has been detected on the surface. 
traces of water vapor have been detected. There are ice caps on both poles, probably made of frozen carbon dioxide. The planet is at the outer edge of the habitable zone of the Beta Cali system. This region of the star system appears to have little iron ore. Distance, oh uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. scientific details. Send more people to Ace's Alley, more people and robots. Let's do it. And that will let us start building a power plant right away. Okay. Now that place can be self sufficient. sector cleared to come up and so if I'm flying around before it comes up it's just wasting a tiny bit of fuel. I guess it's not a big deal though. I don't feel like this is the sort of game where I need to optimize my gameplay. problems on Gaia, sir. Everything seems most peaceful. There are strong radiation bursts scattered throughout the Beta Cayley system. I am currently trying to collate all relevant data. Sweet. We want to investigate an idea for greatly improving our food reserves. If we succeed, we won't have to worry about famine while our Terran crops adapt to the new environment. That sounds pretty good. We are developing restructures grain protein into meat protein. In effect, we're turning grass into beef. Go for it. Sounds awesome. Now, 
have grass-fed beef when you can have grass-made beef. Scope, build colony, or I could turn them into space stations. I don't know which is better. stopping to work on the clip so like happening pretty early in the game so I don't, I don't know what's up with that maybe that's another thing that's different between playthroughs I feel a bit dumb building all of those uh, habitats on there already sort of get action happening, it's on the slower side of things, for sure. empty sectors, jeez. So an instrument package to study the thinning of the ozone. Smells like benzene coats these stones. What does benzene smell like? Like for the average person playing, 
that isn't actually very descriptive. Almost like as a pilot, so what, we get out of our ship, go look at some sticky oil, and the first thing we do is shove our nose into it. Mm, smells a little bit like benzene. Let's see if this works. See if I'm not talking out my butt. So this is a vehicle plant. It has six turns left, it says. I think if we offline it and then online it. I don't know if we were supposed to wait a turn after offlining it. Oh! Instead of waiting six turns, it was just at the end of that current turn. It finishes its production. And it still uses up all of the materials that it says it's going to. So it's not like you're getting a free vehicle, you just get it quicker. A quicker vehicle. So if I continually do that to just this vehicle plant, then it'll be using up resources very quickly. Um, whereas, you know, these other buildings won't be producing them very quickly. So you'd have to, you know, do that to all of your buildings to keep your self-sufficiency going. No, but we have another ship now. Sweet. Send it to Alpha 5. Probe Alpha Asteroids. Now, but in a pinch, that is super helpful if you need a vehicle. If you just need, like, a tiny bit more life support or something, you can do it to your habitats. trees sprout mushroom-like vegetation. Occasionally, one of the mushrooms expels a cloud of pollen into the air. You collect samples of the natural crops in this area. Of most interest are three varieties of wheat-like grains. Cool. Aha. That's what I needed. Twelve turns. Let's go talk to our bridge group. Nothing new. Okay. I'm good with that. I 
was about to. You got it. Sir, our second colony is coming along nicely. In my opinion, it is best to make a colony as self-sufficient as possible before moving on. Eventually, we do need to explore other planets of the system. Yeah, okay. So we're orbiting right up. Space station. No, we don't need a space station yet. Oh, geez. Please be a colony somewhere nearby. Oh. Let's make sure. Let's make sure it's clear. Sector cleared? Sector cleared. Bam! We did it. We're on a new world map. What do we name it? We name it Kiwi. This is the Kiwi colony. Let us explore it. Oh, jeez. Geez, it's so far away. Okay, maybe we'll start at the 10th. Parallel. Parallel? Meaning? Uh, sorry, don't do maps. Sulfur springs have made the humid air quite acidic. The acids have leached into nearby lakes, making them unfit for living. So let's see, uh, parallels are the ones that go horizontally across because they are parallel to each other. Mediums are the ones that go up and down because they are, well, they are not parallel to one another, so. I'm just a big dummy. get enough ore and energy and then we're just gonna send robots and life support and we can start building a habitat. You find some primitive flowering trees, angiosperms similar to Terran magnolia trees. Their flowers look like and stink like bloody flesh. Lovely. I want a bloody flesh magnolia. The ground is covered by hard resin balls, similar to amber, which have dripped from the limbs of coniferous trees. I found actual amber on Gaia, or Gaia, sorry. The Tantalus colonists use this area as a stone quarry. as an energy quarry. Oh. Sir, after examining all data we currently have on Gaia, I feel that there are several sectors where any colonists from the Tantalus would have set up communications or defensive arrays. I suggest we send teams to explore sectors F29, F30, and also sector G27 for any signs of the Tantalus or her crew. I'll enter these coordinates into your PDA. The pilot of the Rhea probe has detected the heat signature of what appears to be a group of buildings in sector G17, sir. G17. I recommend we investigate that sector for traces of the missing Tantalus colonies. Okay. I can do that. First, I want to finish this. G17. It's not even that far from us. We picked a good place to colonize. We find petrified remains of some tree like flora. Instruments show that this area is sinking and it's turning into a rift valley. Up, oh, life support. How much? Four. Not a whole lot. Among the shattered remains of a town, you find enough evidence to indicate that this place was called Lands and City. All 
the remains in the empty office you examine is a hologram trophy display with the glowing text. First prize, Mathematics Division, to Wanda Lemford for her research on the duplication theory. Presented by the Gaian Euclidean Society. New Frisco Chapter, Sectors D0. D0. Let's go, let's go look at Gaia real quick. So D0. New Frisco. What is this? The outpost is a mass of decaying ruins. You find a battered vid phone that bears the advertisement. Come to the College of Neo-Roma Expo. Gayo's most reputable school for applied physics presents Wanda Lemford, Sector I-9. Okay, I-9. Up. Oh, it's a lot of life support. The abandoned college you discover has ivy and weed-covered walls. In the School of Mathematics building, you find an overturned waste paper basket containing a series of plastic sheets for an overhead projector. The writing on the sheets is still visible. This was the colony of the Neo-Roma College of Applied Physics. The buildings are in ruins and buried under an ivy-like web of vegetation. Okay, we have to come back for that. One of our research teams is interested in studying the possibility that subsets of dimensions nest within larger sets of dimensions. This concept is based on a Professor Wanda Lemford's work. Apparently she was one of the Tantalus master physicists. We uncovered her name and work while trying I know how we uncovered her name. Game. I did it. Well, I guess in theory, I'm sort of the captain of the Calypso overseeing everything. I'm not actually the one piloting this. It's some random robot. But still. Let's go back to I-9 from Ace's Alley and get the rest of that life support. Oh, that is a lot of life support. Very handy. Uh, we do still have to go to um, yeah these sectors F twenty nine F thirty and G twenty seven. Which might be a bit far, actually. Whew! It'll use up a lot of our fuel to get out here. This was one of them, right? That yeah, used up half our fuel to get here. G27. Wow. Only to find nothing. Oh, yeah, I don't know. That was really close. Colony, it's closer. That, or we can go from here. Yeah, okay. Why don't I think to do this? Aha! A ship bearing the insignia of the Tantalus is parked here. 
With minimal effort, your engineers can restore the ship, adding another vehicle to your fleet. You walk through the rubble that once constituted the main radio communication center for Gaia and the rest of the system. The settings on the main prompter indicate that the last messages were broadcast to sectors A0, B1, C2, and D3 on Prometheus. Okay. That's kind of a pain in the ass to do right now. Um, but sure. A0, B1, C2, and D3 on Prometheus. The circle of empty buildings was once a performing arts center. It seems I was correct, sir. Our team has located the remains of a radio communications node on Gaia I will, at Sector F30. We should try to trace the last signal to see where it may lead. Might take a while, though. Oh, now we have three vehicles up here. Probe. We can't probe Prometheus from here. We'll have to do it from Rhea. But we can probe Hermes. Okay, we can't transfer anything to Kiwi just yet. Nice though. Well there.
good job exploring. That's a lot of robots. Yeah, gimme. Eleven robots. Inside the ruins of a huge warehouse, you find shelves containing unusual coaxial cables. These mammoth cables may be of some use in developing more efficient power conduits. Around this area, you find several robot crews that bear the insignia of the UNS Tantalus. The robots are still in working condition. They've just run out of power. A quick trip to the nearest site and they'll be fine. Um, so who transports power over coaxial? That's gross. Is that really the future of power delivery? Coaxial cables? Huge coaxial cables? Yet to Kiwi, we will. Uh, we're really close to it, actually. I wish we could hold more stuff. Go to Kiwi. left still on this. Oh yeah, that Lumford person's work. I almost forgot about that. Power plants. I don't think this will be very helpful, at least yet. Let's go for it. Oh, it also takes forever, jeez. Our scanners are probing Prometheus. The telemetry data will be downloaded into our ship's library. Solenoid. Prometheus is about one third larger than Terra's moon and has a trace atmosphere of nitrogen. It always keeps the same face pointed toward the large terrestrial planet and so has a very long day. A weak magnetic field indicates the moon may still have a liquid metallic core. Now wait, 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 wait. Didn't Rhea have a 16 hour day? And so if this always points the same way towards Rhea, then it's, it should be rotating at essentially the same rate. So it should also have a 16 hour day. Right? Am I wrong? I think I'm right. But I might be wrong. <laughs> a weak magnetic field indicates the moon may still have a liquid metallic core. The surface of the moon is heavily cratered, and there are a few smooth, unbroken maria 
seas, indicating that the moon has been bombarded throughout its history by meteors of various sizes. The nitrogen atmosphere seems to be a result of occasional volcanic outgassing. The moon's low gravity cannot prevent the gas from escaping into space. Sweet. Did we bring energy on that probe, or did we forget to because we're losers? We forgot to. Well. Oh, where the heck did we even want to land? Uh, C2. Let's just go to C2. Oh, there's something here. site for studying the atmosphere of Rhea. Aha! We picked right. Inside a science post, half buried in dust, you find a diary some scientists left behind. One entry reads, The unusual crystals we found were sent to Petrovsky at his private laboratory on Ares, sector B11. If anyone can make something useful of the crystals, it's Petrovsky. Uh, so now I have to go to Ares. Captain, we've recovered a diary that belonged to a scientist from the Tantalus. It would appear that we need to explore Ares along parallel B. I think B we're going 11. too quick right now. We need to cut it with these log uh, quests. Okay, let's get a tiny bit of energy. Whoa, already. You find the remains of Prometheus Outpost 1. The single habitat is still functional and retains oxygen, but is empty. On the wall is scrawled the message, Heading for Rhea as ordered. Top Command Blue's crystals found a C-11 may assist in crisis. C-11. Okay. Let's make sure this is clear. I guess this it will be. And a bam. We have a Prometheus colony. What do we name it? Um, hmm. I don't know. Moon base. There we go. Got it, we're going. I zero. So Prometheus is just full of goodies. Destroyed ATV bearing the Tantalus insignia. Inside, you find an isolinear chip with encoded orders. Return to Edison City in the southern hemisphere of Rhea, Sector Zero, for a recon mission. Nice. So let's go finish getting energy or whatever. Okay, maybe not finish. Just get some. Wow. Should I have a bigger cargo bay by now? I don't know. That is a monstrously huge bundle of energy. Well, we're going to be set with all of the ship fuel that we need for a very long time.
leave it partially done, so we're just gonna get all of that energy. that ship yet, that transport, and so we have no way to, um, where is it? Transport Kiwi, two turns left. Sure. yet. So I have something on Rhea to look for. After zero for a recomposition. Wait, didn't we have something C11 on, um, Terra? Or, yeah. Yeah, what was that C11? I'm referring to a different planet. Maybe Rhea. emptiness. Maybe we won't have any issues with the Calypso's cryopods just because we did build all those habitats. You interrupt a male and female baboon dog engaged in a mating ritual. The creatures snarl at you and then vanish into the underbrush. Silly baboon dogs.
don't really know if the game um, expects me to be meticulously exploring right now or trying to get to new planets. ATV or some unusual crystals. A shattered crate nearby bears the label Focaline Crystal Combine. Why didn't we have a PDA entry for that? That's so frustrating. Uh, Southern Hemisphere, I guess, could be anything H. H Town, right? Skeletons of eight tantalus colonists in a crashed freighter. One of the dead clutches an empty leather bag that bears insignia. Gay and Gemologist, lands and city. I 26. Uh, you know, should, should I be writing this down just in case? Just in case I don't get a PDA entry. I 26. Six on Gaia. Sweet. Captain, scouts from our second colony on Gaia oh, hey, report a possible crashed ship of some kind along Meridian One. They are picking up some kind of energy signature near Sector Thirty Three. Thirty Three. our communications relay system for our colonies. I'm sure Captain Johansson came to the same conclusion. The that is why I suggest we concentrate an exploration mission near the center of Gaia. My best guess would be place an existing array along the D or F parallels where meridians 15 and 16 intersect with them. Uh, yeah, sure I can do that. Jeez. Oh no, why not? What happened? Oh. Yeah, I hate that backseat and stuff. I don't know. Unless I'm like really stuck and need help. Our scanners are probing the Alpha asteroid. The telemetry data will be downloaded into our ship's life register. Our scanners are probing Hermes. The telemetry data will be downloaded into our ship's library too. You could have just banned them. Or just moved your chat and I'll look at the chat. 
for a bit. The Alpha Asteroids are the remnants of a planet that either never formed or was torn apart by the gravitational forces of Beta Cayley. Most of the lighter, carbonaceous, and stony asteroids have been ejected from the belt, leaving the heavier metallic asteroids behind. It is estimated from the combined mass of the metallic alpha asteroids that a planet two-thirds the size of Mercury could have once existed. Estimates put the combined mass of uh, blah blah blah, we don't care. Oh. Well, that stinks. Well, yeah, you could still record it and put it up on YouTube or something. Uh, but you see I have an Aces Alley now, which is really coming along. I'm waiting for additional power points and factors to come up. I caused two more, well, really one more planet and its moon. Uh, so Kiwi is on the planet Rhea, and Ave Maria is my base on its moon, Prometheus. Oh, so that's, uh, I have a whole bunch of places to go to on Gaia. I... well, DF 15 and 16. I should have left, you know. Let's leave from Ace's Alley. D and F 15 and 16. So D, E, F these six cells. And I could include these ones we've already been to before. Yes, I have a base on Prometheus now. I haven't built anything there yet. You find a Tantalus radio transmitter which has run out of power. Its last message was the Exodus spaceport at Rhea J31. Rhea J31. been attacked and the last transport vessel destroyed. Without that cargo, we cannot survive. Cool. Sir, we should get a ship off to Rhea, Sector J31, as quickly yeah, as will. possible. That final message we found encoded in that transmitter from the Tantalus on Gaia clearly indicates something important is to be found on Rhea. So yeah, we do at least have a log entry for that, but we don't have a log entry for those other two Gaia ones, do we? No, we do for... we do. So, okay, we have log entries for everything, so we, we won't forget. Let's go do those other things here while we're here. I-26. That's quite far away. We don't be able to do much exploring without running out of fuel. Aha! A crystal. You find a blood-red jewel that casts a double spectrum when held up to the sunlight. And of course, it's science. The recording found at the destroyed Tantalus colony. Oh, there's a different Okay. We're not sure at this time if it has any direct application to our needs. Looks like better energy scanning. That sounds cool. Let's see how our research is doing. Five turns left on the trianoid solenoid. What is this? Okay, the hydrocarbon thing, let's start inventing it. 35 turns. In one turn, we'll be able to turn grass into beef. Invention complete. Makes tasty steaks from mushrooms. So maybe not grass, mushrooms. The shiitake meat synthesizer transforms grain protein into meat protein. Unfortunately, the process will work only with shiitake mushrooms, which are difficult to raise here. However, the shiitake sticks taste wonderful. Sorry to have wasted our time and resources, Captain. Indeed, what a waste. 
But at least the super wealthy will be able to obtain delicious steaks. I'd like to, at some point, build a robot factory on Ace's Alley. <laughs> how is that how it works? What? It transforms plant protein into meat protein. Who doesn't love a good meat protein? Captain? There are a number of meteors and other debris present in the Beta Cave system. I suggest we look into a defensive system that could protect our colony from the... Oh my goodness, okay. Are we able to build it? Sure. We're very low on electronics. We're out of electronics now. Build labs. And I guess maybe Ace's Alley can be my laboratory place. Need humans. Need more humans. Transport to Kiwi. Transport all of your humans. Complete. Transport. Back to Calypso. Nothing. We're a little bit far, but... While exploring some four asteroids, an exploration team noticed some unusual pits. As near as we can determine, they appear to have been created by exceedingly small but powerful explosions. Our physicists think that miniature black holes created the pit. Oh, okay, that's what, what you sell. Pixie six. Another thing that we can research? Oh my goodness. That's too much stuff. Too much stuff at once. Where's my lab? Want some pixie sticks? I like it. Let's upgrade one power plant here. Sure. Let's see, maybe we can 
just send actually this ship to Raya. Transport Kiwi. Yeah. Ten dollars per stick. Why even wait for that then? Why not just immediately shank them and then go through their pockets and take their wallet? Oh, true. Very true. Let's get another shit built. One turn left, so we don't even need to chase it. Why is our energy protection down? Oh, because we're upgrading. Six turns. Oh jeez, I can upgrade that again to a third level? Not to a third level. Level three seems extreme. Let's see, what it, hmm. Yes, extreme to the max. Transport. Transport some ore to Calypso. That might be too far. Wow, we just barely made that. At the Exodus spaceport, you locate a transport ship that crashed during takeoff. You manage to salvage a crate on which is written, Ore Filter Magnets. So we can upgrade our factories in addition to our power plants soon. Oh, it probably needs electronics though, doesn't it? Yes. No, not electronics. <gasps> it's math that I... <laughs> I have both my lab sets electronics. I thought that that's what I was out of. It's math that I need more. Okay. I'm so confused because I could have sworn that I should definitely have electronics. Math. Uh, set this to math as well. Upgrade one of these. Oh, not enough. Not enough of something. That's fine. Explore those two other places on Gaia. Just one other. We did I 26 already. We need to do I 33. Aha! Uh -huh. An experimental spacecraft from the Tantalus crash landed on a deserted island, sustaining devastating damage. A large section of the prototype engine has survived. You can barely make out Ramekin 2 stenciled on the engine's housing. We've located an experimental ship from the Tantalus, sir. It appears to have been using some new engine. 
Dragon prototype. We'll put our best teams on it at once. We will need two research labs on the Calypso, or at the space site, assigned to physics research Jeez. to further aid our efforts. The Zero-G environment will let us perform specific tests on the prototype to gain an understanding from it. Okay, so I need to build another lab on the Calypso. Has, they have to both be set to physics. I need that map though. You know what? Maybe we just build more lab. There we go, physics. It will just be like a huge or deficit. Not happy about that. One turn left upgrading power plant. astronomy and then a couple more mathematics about each planet and moon so we can determine which ones will be the best candidates for colonization our early settlements are coming along quite nicely sir we need robots sir they are vital to our survival our factories should all be assigned to producing robots until we have a massive stockpile i don't know about all of them we need vehicles too i plan to run regular emergency drills for my troops captain you are welcome to take part in them if you'd like. Not right now. Uh, so we'll have a ship here soon. 
and let's send this back to Ave Maria. Invention complete. What did we just invent? May help in future spacecraft. The reduplication theory suggests that nested dimensions can be aligned quantumly and can resonate in space-time together. Quantumly. Quantumly. I'm not sure that is a word most scientists would use. We currently have no means of applying the theory to our macro world, sir, but we believe we'll find a use for it in the future. I guess the best way to get some more science quickly is just go exploring. years ago. Give me 
some astronomy. Several small silica domes. Uh, let's see what they want in a moment. This is one of the few areas on the moon where rare earth elements can be found. The life forms on Rhea are rather primitive and can be compared to that of the early Triassic period of Terra. The dominant land animals are akin to Terran reptiles and amphibians. Because of the heavy gravity, there are no flying insects or animals, but several jellyfish-like species have developed gas bladders which allow them to float in the thick air. About 80% of the land species live in the restricted areas of the narrow temperature zones. Narrow temperate zones, sorry. Massive deserts gird the equator. The polar regions are surprisingly rich in species. Alrighty. That's cool. So let's see if we can invent anything. What do you need for that engine? More math. That probably is more important than this. Yeah, let's prioritize this. So we're back down to no math. Need more math, need more uh, astronomy again. But having ships that have more fuel will be amazing. Labs were offline. We're eating through a lot of ore. Yeah, 
Okay. Let's start robot production on Ace's Alley. Send more people. That way we can turn off the factory up here. You know what? Maybe here we should do robots as well. Okay, I'm just like Calypso to vehicles. And just turn on and off again to, to get a ship whenever we need. Only do that when we need a ship. No, but that's much better than over fifty negative uh, or. What science do we need the most, though? really just astronomy and math right now, so that's what these two should be. Astronomy and mathematics. Okay, colonies are really coming along nicely. Dr. Ned Delton, the head of the development team, uses superconducting magnets to hold raw ore in suspension so lasers of various frequencies can smelt the metals out individually. It will increase the output of ore from factories. Significant retooling of factories will be required to implement. Which means, yep, we can upgrade our factories now. Upgrade, please. Upgrade, please. So we're just going to upgrade the ore factories though, not the robot factory. Invention complete. Upgrade another power plant. Oh, we need robots. We need hello robots. building at these places, we should have our colonies on Gaia be self-sufficient again. How's Kiwi doing? 
Kiwi, you need power plants. Let's go and get some more energy. Acidic. The acids have leached into nearby lakes, making them unfit for living things. Clumps of grayish blue flowers occasionally break through the hard ground. Forms on the two terrestrial planets of Beta Cayley not only share the same five nucleotides, but they also share an amazing 94% of the same genetic codes in their DNA. Most likely a meteorite impact on one of the planets shortly after life formed ejected some genetic material that survived the journey between the planets. Comparing the Beta Cayley genetic materials to human and Centaurian samples reveals that the Beta Cayley species share four nucleotides with the Centaurians but no nucleotides with humans. Furthermore, Veda Kaliens share 70% of the same genetic codes with Centaurians, while they share only 2% with humans. The near identicalness of Beta Kali life forms with each other and their close kinship with Centaurian forms strongly supports the panspermia hypothesis. That Terran forms are so different from the other two strongly suggests that life arose on Terra uniquely and independently of alien influence. We estimate that Beta Cayley is halfway through its lifetime of 5 billion years. It is surprising that such highly evolved life forms developed on either Gaia or Rhea in only 2.5 billion years. According to the Terran model, there should be no major life forms on either terrestrial planet in the Beta Cayley system yet. There has not been enough time for them to evolve. Either our theories on evolution need to be reconsidered, 
or we should look to some other cause for the rapid advancement of life and oxygen atmospheres on the Kalian planets. Interesting. A rule. I could upgrade the robot factories. Yeah, okay, we're turning back to robots and we're turning back online. We need robots. I feel like we shouldn't have started upgrading anything yet, we should have just built more. Uh, I mean, keeping the 16 tiles limit in mind. I feel like it's more efficient to just use more of the smaller ones. Save, I'm going to get off for now. chilling with me. Uh, I don't know, maybe if I'm not super busy tomorrow evening, maybe I'll stream more of this. I don't know. Uh, if not, then you'll have to wait till next weekend. See ya. See ya, Ace. I'm gonna go get lunch and custard. Delicious custard. <laughs>